right hi um welcome everyone to my youtube channel um my name is jerry and uh if you click on this on youtube then uh, i guess you really want to know more about how to draw your roof plant and that's exactly what this video is about and shortly within this free time we'll spend together i guess that by the end of this video you'll be able to handle any plan that comes your way hopefully hopefully if you follow through till the end okay i'm just showing you just uh some of the roof plans that i have drawn this is one of them and i think you have another here and you see there are rules that guides us to this you're seeing the way it is and everything you take. there are rules that tells you okay from this point you have to move to this other point this side goes and all through and if you abide by these rules and follow through believe me there won't be any problem with you, you won't have any problem with your roof, everything is going to go fine. It's okay. Uh, what we'll do today, you see, there are different plants, and your plants are what give rise to your roofs. I guess we should know that the shape of your plant is what will give um, rise to the shape of your roof. If you have a square plan, your roof is going to come out square. And that is very easy, you wouldn't have any problem at all. But when you're having different kind of shootouts of, from your plan, it's going to affect your roof the way to come out. And just like this, we're seeing now, you're seeing a shootout, you're seeing a shootout, or, or people call it recess, you're seeing recess and all that is coming out and all that. So your roof is not going to just be a rectangular shape or a square shape, it's having some shootouts. So, it's going to be a bit difficult to get those corners and those um, uh, uh, um, um, gutters and those ridges and all that. But hopefully today we will be able to look at some helpful tips that will help us get across. Alright, let's go straight into what we are here to do. I think, okay, I want us to try something like this. I will have to copy this. I will have to copy this so we can use this. Click on copy there. Pick it from this point. I would want it uh, uh, yeah, exactly. Would I okay? I want it there, but I want it. I want to move it up a bit, so I'll just move. Come on. So I'll just move it from here. I want it to be here. Let's do it afresh from here. Cool. Okay. Right. Before you do anything about your roof let's say this was the plan this was the way the plan was and then you just um take your pulley line and you trace that out that was how i was able to get this before that you just after that sorry you can um offset this by 600 this is your offset you offset it by 600 you want to offset that outside you want to offset that outside so we've done that and then uh, this will now be the distance between your uh, normal plan the distance between your normal plan and distance between the, 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 the shootout of the roof yeah up there so cool what we want to do now I want to take our lines and then start getting the angles alright and so I'll pick my construction line here and then I right, uh, I, I left click, sorry. I right click, sorry. And I go to my angles, then I choose whichever angle I want. And some persons use uh, 35 or depending, but I use 45. So let's go 45, enter. And you can see this angle 45 doesn't flow through all shapes doesn't go through all points doesn't go there are specific points that it go to um, that's going to go through so we are going to map out those points and then we are going to pin it there i think this is one so i dropped it there this is another one i drop it there it goes here it applies here i think here 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 so on and just like that, I just want to drop this here because I'm going to need it. 
So what I'll do with this, I'll just highlight it like that. I want to rotate this. So let me just select the point. I select this point. And at this point, it's going to be minus. Alright. So I can start copying from here too. Pick it. It works for here. It works for here. To work here. To work here. 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 Okay. That might be okay. Now I need to move this. Move this. Now we're done. Please, you don't have to bother about the whole of this. You don't have to bother about it. What we should do now, we have to trim. TR, that's a short. Short cut there. We'll trim this out. Sorry. we we'll trim this. we we'll trim this. we we'll trim this. And we'll trim this. Um, now, I know these lines can be a bit confusing, but you just have to take it bit by bit. You have to take it bit by bit bit by bit now you should know what you are working with and what you are not working with yeah we should be able to differentiate that okay so i want us to just start from here let's take it bit by bit bit by bit all right so what we'll do right now is i'm going to start trimming the parts that we need i told you before we started that there are rules that guides us when we are um designing our roof plans now one of the rules i'm going to give you here is that wherever you see two angles wherever two angles meet wherever two angles meet at that point it's going to continue with a straight line forward i don't know if you get me i'm going to come back that's one of the rules you need to take note of that wherever two angles meet two angles meet now we have angle 45 this is minus 45 that is why their point is here at this point here that's why we have the point so we don't need this at this point we need a straight line we're going to continue from here let's keep that in mind we're going to do that right now so what i want to do i want to um um I want to take this, this chamfer. I want to chamfer this and this. You see what it does? It just gives me that angle. You see that? And why I can do that is because this angle and this angle they met. So we're not going to they are not going to extend. They are just going to stop there and then a straight line is going to continue from here. That's the rule. So we'll pick a line from here. I want to make sure our auto is on so we can get a perfect straight line. I want to drop it there first. Remember, an angle and angle they meet, you have a straight line. Good. We are done with this. Now we are going to go over. I think. Let's just trim this out. And we we'll delete this so we can see our progress as we move. Now, we want to look over this place cool now if this line we need to extend this let's extend it to touch that's cool now we can see now on this line and this line let's chamfer it pick your chamfer here and here you chamfer it now, once it's not an angle, when a straight line and an angle meets, it does not con a straight line cannot continue when a straight line and an angle meets. When a straight line and an angle meet, that's rule number two. When you have a straight line and you have an angle, it's going to continue with an angle opposite to the angle that met the straight line. So what we're going to do here, we're going to take a line. Sorry, we're going to take an angle opposite to this angle coming. 